In today's video, I'll go over how to enable official dark mode in LibreOffice Calc. I'll also go over a few tips regarding how to print with the correct colors in dark mode, how to fix the text color, and even how to set up automatic dark mode during sunset. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. I make quick tips and video tutorials on how to use Calc software. Let's get started. The settings is located under Tools, Options, and then click Appearance. Here under the Options section, I have it selected as System, but we can go ahead and choose Dark for now. Once we hit OK, it'll ask us to restart LibreOffice. Now it's hard to see the buttons, but the left says Restart Now, and the right says Restart Later. I recommend to restart now. Otherwise, it might cause some strange coloring while you're using the software. Now I'll go back to open my file. And there we go. We can see that the sheet itself has a black background. My toolbar is also black. The status bar and also the style sidebar on the right is black. And let's try typing some text in. So for me, the colors look fine. It's white. If for some reason your text is looking different, we can always customize how it looks. So back into Tools and Options. Under Appearance, there's a Customization section. And the drop down for items, we can pick font color here. And this should apply to other programs in LibreOffice, such as Writer. If we scroll further down, there is Calc Text Overflow Indicator and Calc Text. So these are two different things, but you can play around with it and choose the color that you want. Normally, most of the options will be automatic, but if we try changing it to, let's say, gold, click Apply and then hit OK. We don't really see anything change here, but if I start typing cell C10, you notice how this color is gold. Once I press Enter, the color is white. So as we can see, setting the default colors can be a little glitchy, but maybe it'll work well for you. If it doesn't, we can always just change the font colors manually by going to the font color applicator. We click the right down arrow. We can choose gold color or anything else. So here I'll try lime. I can manually apply this font color by selecting all the cells and then apply the font color. So this will work for my sheet. It's just that I have to do this at least once manually and then save my changes. Okay, so I'll switch this back to automatic. There we go. Now I'll talk about the print preview. It actually changes to dark mode. So under file, print preview, we do have a black background and we have the white text. And if you're wondering when we print this, will it have a black background and waste a lot of ink? The answer is no. So when we actually try to print by clicking the print icon, it does show the preview correctly. So if I were to print using my printer, we see the text is all black and the background is white. I did test this on a piece of paper and it does work like how we see it here. Now lastly, before I explain how to set dark mode to switch automatically during sunset, I would like to plug a video course I'm creating. I've started to create a free Calc Crash course and you can start to sign up at calccourse.com. If you want to learn how to use Calc with confidence, then I recommend that you start with taking that course. All right, on with dark mode switching. So earlier I mentioned that I used a system setting under here Normally, when choosing this, it'll stay either light all the time or dark all the time. However, there's a free app in the Microsoft Store called Flux, and it's got a Microsoft Store award. I've actually been using it for many years, and one setting that it has, which I'll show you here, is under Effects and Extra Colors, there's an option to use dark mode at sunset. Just make sure that this is selected. Then what happens when it's sunset, anytime during the year, and it's based on the zip code or location that you put in, it'll switch over to dark mode. 
in my experience, a restart of calc wasn't necessary. But the nice thing is this actually works well for a lot of browsers and other Windows apps as well. So I recommend you to check it out and you can always uninstall it if it's not that useful for you. So that's it with this video. I hope you'll enjoy dark mode and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. But lastly, as always, stay nifty.